let's make some patriotic pinwheels for playful people in this week's edition of Summer Fun Friday. For this project, we're using Chromacryl Students Acrylic in the colors Cool Red, White, and Cool Blue, a pencil, a push pin, a jelly printing plate, a brayer, a scissors, and a marker. If you don't have a jelly plate, that's okay. You can just paint on your paper using a paintbrush. We're going to be making a textured pattern on our jelly plate using some paper cutouts. I take the manila folder and I fold it and then I draw some stars and cut them out. I like to do the double fold so I can get double the amount of stars. After you're done cutting out your stars, set them aside and get your jelly printing plate. We're going to be putting some cool blue on and spreading it with a brayer. We want to have a thin coat. And then we're going to apply our cutout stars. And then get a piece of copy paper, face down, rub, and then carefully pull up from the corner. Wow, look at that great print. We can use that leftover ink by making a ghost print that will also help us clean off the remaining paint that's on the plate. Remove those stars. You can make another ghost print to remove some more paint. And then clean your plate just using some water and a rag. When the print is dry, use some Chromacryl Cool Red and spread that out with the brayer. Now we're using a paper cup to make some more textured patterns, just some circles. You could also carefully draw into it with the back of a paintbrush, maybe use some rip paper for stripes. Taking your dry print, place it white side down, and then make a new print. That looks cool. Make some more ghost prints. I'm using my old ghost print and I'm printing on top. It actually looks great when you build up prints this way with layer upon layer of color. Using the double-sided print, fold a corner so that you make a triangle. Cut the excess paper. Now take that triangle and fold it in half so you get a nice fold line. Cut from the edge along the fold line towards the fold. Leave about a half inch of space. Do not cut the fold. Next, do the same thing to the other corners. When you end, you should have cuts in all four corners. Take your pencil and some of the remaining paper and roll it up. You want to cover up that edge and have a nice pretty pattern on that pencil. Secure with some tape. Now, starting with the top left edge, fold to the center and do that for every other corner. So you end up with a pinwheel shape and secure with a pin and put that pin carefully into the eraser part of the pencil. And there you have it, you have your pinwheel. You may wanna put a small bead in between the pin and the eraser so it can spin better. So have some fun making some pinwheels, whether they are patriotic or in your favorite colors this season using Chromacryl. For more information, please visit our website, www.chromaonline.com.